Keep climbing and glassing and climbing and glassing. <laughs> Welcome to Kodiak, buddy. That, my friend, is no deer trail. Hopefully, uh, if we're still here with a tent in the morning. <laughs> Tune in, Bill. Tune in. There's a little patch of alders. I mean, right in front of the patch of alders, you can see his back. Game plan is we pack up all our gear, we climb to the top of the hill, glass all day, find a bear, go shoot him, get him, and bring him back to camp. Kodiak, baby. One more time. There are people in this world that go looking for adventure. And then there are those that live it every day. Alaska Outdoors Television. Experience Alaska like never before. Kodiak Island, baby, one more time. The great Alaskan wilderness, one of my favorite places to hunt. Here we go, baby. This time, we're headed down the Sutherland Peninsula. Kodiak, the hunt mighty Kodiak Island brown bear. First task, base camp, baby. 10 days of Kodiak Island wilderness. It's gonna be a tough time finding a dry spot this year with all the record-breaking snowfall. You know, in Alaska on Kodiak Island, it's probably one of the, you know, most coveted tags in the world. The way we run these hunts, you know, we each put in for a hunt, and if one of us is lucky enough to draw, there's a prearranged agreement that one of us is going to go with the other one to back them up, because hunting brown bear isn't something that you really want to be doing by yourself. Here we are, hoss. <laughs> but nothing makes me feel better than what I saw next. That, my friend is no deer trail. Look at that. That thing, look at how wide. Size 15 and two, look at that. Side by side and the trail's wider than a feet. That, my friend, is a good sign. <laughs> These kind of guys in, in Alaska, there's the guys that Feel like the loss when the plane leaves, and then the guys that can't wait for it to go. It's just something about Kodiak Island that brings a smile to my face. Yeah, for me, I just can't wait for that plane to fly away. <laughs> you know what, Bill? That's the best feeling in the world for me, and the worst feeling in the world for some people. <laughs> Tell you what, buddy? Here we are. Southern tip of Kodiak Island. Mr. Bill here's got his freaking brown bear tag and we got freaking 10 days yep. to get her done. Time to hook a tent up, guys. We got a lot of work to do now between now and dark 30 and yep. the sooner we get our camp set up, the quicker we can run up and get on one of those knolls and start seeing what we can see. The brown bear camp, a little electricity can go a long ways. <laughs> In this case, all the way around base camp, baby. We are hot, baby. Nothing like the bear fence. Yep, it's hot. I do that every time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you say you never shot a, uh, you never shot a ptarmigan, right? <laughs> well, heck, let's go get you a ptarmigan. Tell you what, they're not the smartest bird known to mankind, but they sure eat good. Since Bill never shot a ptarmigan before, we'll let him go up first time. Is that a laugh or what? That's okay, Bill. There'll be plenty more opportunities, and I was kind of feeling like tacos anyway. Blueberry pancakes on the toilet. We got in here, got a good camp set up last night. Uh, been raining all morning, but uh, we got our we got our Starbucks on, we got our packs all loaded up, and uh, 
this pinnacle here to our left. Uh, looks like it's about 300 feet. We're thinking we can walk out probably, probably a mile, get set up and uh, be able to last just a, just a huge chunk of coastline. And uh, last night when we flew in, we saw lots of deer, saw lots of signs. So we can get up there and we can see good distance on the coastline. We should up our odds pretty good. Hunting Kodiak Island brown bear requires two things, lots of walking and lots of glassing. You know my old saying, if you ain't glassing, you're not hunting in this country. But to get to where you can glass, sometimes you just got to walk. Hopefully about now, one of these bears is going to start itching to wake up from his winter nap. However, with the recent record-breaking snowfalls in Alaska, we're still getting cold temperatures at night. We're not feeling love. It's starting to look like the bears are still denned up. Look in those thickets, Lewis, to the left. There's a black spot. See all those little trees? Yeah. And you see a little draw and then right on the edge of it. No, Bill, he spotted one of those famous bush bears, you know, one of those dark clumps of tundra that makes you look twice. We'll probably see a few of those this trip. got to do. Walking glass, walking glass, walking glass. When we get through doing that, glass and walk. Wind switched around to the to the west late in the afternoon and it's uh, kicking up pretty good right now. So hopefully it's just that high pressure system moving in and uh, you know we'll continue to have good weather. So about 8 30 at night. <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> only place only in Alaska baby. 8.30 at night and the sun's shining. We got the black beans and rice cooking. We got the steak thawing out. Just gonna have a good dinner tonight. And hopefully, uh, if we're still here with the tent in the morning, <laughs> wind don't kick up too much worse. Uh, we'll get up in the morning and get it done. So here we are. Odiac Island, baby, one more time. <laughs> Sun might be shining, but it is still cold, baby. Woo! Way cold. Perfect day for a walk. Kodiak Island, baby. 3,600 square miles, 14 watersheds, and over 100 salmon streams. We got 199 chances that this next one's gonna be the one we're looking for. Funny, big place like Kodiak, you know, one part of the island, northern tip, tall spruce trees and moss. Whereas the southern tip, nothing but tundra. Well, I'll tell you what, Bill, we're going to work away to the coastline and get on the back side of that ridge line right there and work our way back tonight. Just stay where we can see just over that ridge down in that river drainage and then walk that drainage out. Just take our time, you know. Day like today, you think that. We should be bumping into some bears before dark 30, you know? About 10 of those tarving oh, right over there, sunning themselves. Oh, maybe we ought to start ptarmigan hunting and maybe the bears will come out. <laughs> but first, an afternoon siesta followed by More walking and more glass. Tell you what, man, you think them deer must know the season's close. Them two in the back are pretty big deer. I better say they're bigger than I thought they were. Huh, they just gonna come right over here. No, that one's doing the high step. Oh. 
I got them. <laughs> I ain't liking it. Yeah. <laughs> ah, that's cool. <laughs> Fortunate for those deer, <laughs> we only got bear tags. Problem is, we're not seeing any bears. Time to do what we do best. Walking and glass. <laughs> it's been a long day and we're just not seeing anything moving. So with the sun heading down, time to get back to camp and do a little ptarmigan hunting. Yes, sir. <laughs> I turn on the gun this time, baby. Ptarmigan, uh, it's what's for dinner. I tell you what, there's nothing like ptarmigan for dinner that makes me happy. Two nice breast fillets, and then what would be known as chicken tenders. We're gonna cut us up a little on, y'all. We're gonna make some fun. Fry some bacon and uh, sear these babies with a little onions and a little bacon with some Cajun Choice Creole seasoning. Ought to be fit to wrap a lip around. Holy smoly! <laughs> Welcome to Kodiak, baby! One more time! I'd say we're down now. Yeehaw! You know, Kodiak Island's a tough place. I mean, you prepare for anything out here. You know, it, you know, you could get dumped on the snow, you could get hit with 60 mile an hour winds, you could hit with record breaking rain this time of year. So, you know, you end up and you get your camp blown in, you lose your gear, whatever, and uh, you know, it could be a tough hunt. You gotta deal with that, that's just part of it. It's springtime, but it's late spring. You know, we're probably running, a, you know, two weeks to four weeks late on a spring. So, you know, we're expecting that we're gonna have to hunt hard this year. Got to put a lot of time in on the glasses and uh, get up high and, you know, pick the right spot. You know, one of the things about these remote wilderness hunts is it's not like you could scout them for three months in advance. You know, you just got to be there at the right time in the right place and put the work in. And, uh, you know, if you put the work in, sooner or later you get rewarded for it. We just about stomped half this country to death and uh, we made up our mind this is our best vantage point. Got up here this morning and set up, and old Dead Eye Bill over there spotted a brown bear. About looks, I don't know, looks like a decent bear. We hadn't got a good look at him. He keeps using the terrain in his favor quite a bit, but he's covered about half this flat behind us. And you know, we've been watching deer. We got a couple of deer on the lake behind us. We got a couple of fox. Time to get all over the place, and then you know, here this big old ugly brown bear come walking by, and. Uh, we're set up now, we're trying to wait to see what he's gonna do. You know, is he gonna come our way or not? The thing I always say about these brown bears, if they're walking away from you, good luck trying to catch him. He's probably probably almost a mile away and uh, walking away from us. There's no way we can, you have to be an Olympic track star to catch up to that bad boy. <laughs> we're way beyond those days, so it's kind of a waiting game. We're just sitting here and uh, Waiting to see what that old boy's gonna do. Come on, Brownie. If he follows that ridge line, we got a chance. Particularly if he hits this freaking coast that comes this way, you know. But wasn't looking real good for us as we sat there and watched that bear walk. And walk. One thing about it. Nine times out of ten, if a bear's walking away from you, you're not gonna catch up with him. Yeah, go back behind that knob. Oh, he's right on top of it. Yeah, he is. Let me get that horseshoe. Yeah. Where it makes the shoe like down like this, there's a little patch of alders, and then right in front of the patch of alders, you can see his back. Yeah. But somehow I knew, I don't know what it was, but this guy was going to lay down. Shall we just start moving our way that way? Yeah. Hope he's still there when we get there. Yeah. Finally laid down on us. He's about 2,000 yards out, but he looks like he's laid asleep. There's a snowbank and a patch of alders just below the snowbank, and uh, I can just see hair where he's laying at. Bill's gonna 
make about 100 yards and lock on him, and then I'm going to run up there and, uh, and lock on him again, so. Got a brown bear laying at about 93 yards, laying on its back, got one foot hanging in the air. Bill's locked down tight on it. We're gonna take one last look at it. We're, we're thinking it's between eight and a half, nine foot. It's uh, late knot, and Bill's wanting to take his first bear, so if it's, uh, it's anything close to that, we're gonna take him. We're gonna let him stand up and get a good look at him. So he, he's, I don't think he even knows we're here. He's just laying there sleeping. I don't think that fox even knew we were there. Unless we do something like spook him and he just busts out of that brush. Uh, he ought to wake up, stretch, look around, wind a little bit and uh, Hope we get Bill a good broadside shot. He may be a little over eight foot, at least. It's hard to tell the way he's laying. Judy, Bill, Judy. Shoot. How's it going with him again? That's a good one. There you go, he ain't going nowhere. Oh yeah, he's a down one. Look at that. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was quite the stock. You got some work cut out for you, Bill. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Call us when you're ready. Bring the sled. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful bear. Come on up here and get a look at this thing, man. Looking teeth. Yeah. Look Amazing. at that. I'm six foot four, 260 pounds, Hoss. And this thing makes me look like a kid. Look at that. Congratulations, Bill, your first bear, buddy. Good job on it. Thank you, Lewis. Yeah, you, uh, we laid there with you for I don't know how long. Waiting for him to get up. You were good and patient. You let him, uh, you know, you didn't shoot him when he was sitting. You let him stand up and get that good cordon away, broadside shot. Pumped it right in there. I, I have no doubt we're probably gonna find that bullet ledge right up in his shoulder if that shoulder isn't broken. 
it, it's so easy to tell how powerful those things are. Just to end them all, just when he swung around like that, he just tore that whole place up just with one with one turn, you know. Yeah. Tore it up, broke a bunch of trees down and stuff. Just tremendous. Got him down on the hill. It's you know it's been a good week. It's been raining. Today's probably the best day we had, you know. I know. And it's uh, getting pretty close. Rolling should be rolling in here pretty quick. And, uh, you know, we're all packed up. We're sitting here waiting. And, uh, heck, I don't know what more you could ask for. Trophy class bear. You know, we had a good camp, even though it was wet and windy. And, you know, we had all the right stuff. And, hey, it was a good week, man. Yeah. Hey, Enjoyed it. You know, the bear itself, he measured just right at 10 foot. He was, uh, you know, depending on how you stretch the tape, he's probably 9, 10 to, to right at 10 foot. Uh, almost 29 inch skull. You know, big old bear. I mean, the most important thing to me anyway with the bear is, is you know, that's good quality. And, uh, you know, that time of year is spring. You can find a rub bear if you, if you hunt hard enough. And, uh, you know, this bear was a beautiful blonde bear, good thick hide. You know, old bear, you know, starting to take his, take it on the downside, and uh, you couldn't ask for a better trophy. Congratulations, buddy. Hi, Bill. How's it going? How you doing? Fine day. Much improved. Oh, tell us about it. Yeah. <laughs> it was winter when you got here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 How do you like that? Good today. Yeah. 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 Was it a rainy cloudy day? Oh. Yeah. So are they just waking up or are they? Yeah, yeah, so. We caught him.